All right, we have Trent uh, Frazier and Kofi Coburn here. Um, we'll go ahead and open up for questions. So uh, we'll start off. Um, Rob, you're the first in line. You go ahead and please queue up in the chat. And we'll we'll uh, we'll go right down the line. Thanks. Hey, Kofi, especially uh, I saw your pregame hype video from your family. What was that like for you, Trent? I didn't see yours. If you had one, tell me about it. That was really overwhelming, man. Um, you know, haven't seen my family in a while. But and to see that they're there, show, showing support, watching the games, and even doing that behind my back, it's really, it's really like important, you know. That give me a sense of like, you know, like I just love my family and I love what they're doing. They're, they're watching me, they're supporting me, and I just gotta keep going for them. It was actually really, really special. You know, I'm sitting there waiting for the introduction, and all I hear is my baby brother. You know, uh, you know, saying my name. You know, such a special moment before the game. It gave me goosebumps, you know, especially, you know, having been, having spent Thanksgiving with them, you know, past three years. So just having that before the game was special to me. And, you know, uh, I just wanted to go out there and make them proud. Thanks, guys. Okay, Joey, you're up. Uh, Nico on deck. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, Kofi, we saw yesterday, literally like two minutes after the game ended, you were doing baseline to baseline sprints. I guess what went behind that? And I don't know that we've seen you do that so quickly after a game before. What, what was the reasoning for that? The reason for that was I, did, I didn't play that much minutes yesterday. And, um, you know, just staying in shape, you know, getting more conditioning in, running. Um, coach expects that a lot from me this year, running the floor at all times. And, you know, I got to get them out in the best shape I can. So whenever I don't play a lot of minutes, I, I have to go out there and put extra work in. So I'm ready for the, for, the, for, for the next game and the game after that. And then I guess for both of you, I'll start with you, Kofi. What did you make of Andre Curbelo in the second half? Is that kind of what you guys have been seeing in practice? And then the same question for Trent. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, Andre's an outstanding player. I knew him for a long time now. Watched him play in high school. I knew, I, I knew he was a special player. Like, he's a great player, great IQ, really good scorer. And to see him come out there and do that today, the second game in, it's really, it's really interesting. You know, I'm, I'm watching him. He has a big, ups, a great upside, and he's, he's gonna keep getting better. Um, you know, uh, with Bello, you know, and Ace, those are two special players. You know, um, I think the thing is for me, you know, as a veteran, you know, these three games right here, you know, I kind of, I kind of want to get these younger guys going. You know, prepare for you know bigger games. You know, the Baylors, the Dukes. Um, so to help them, you know, to get them, you know, more shots than me, more, you know, more touches, more looks and more opportunities, you know, just to build their confidence up and help them, you know, develop that confidence when we have to play, you know, really, really talented teams. You know, uh, it's it's very important. So I could care less if I could score Zoe, you know, just watching them go out there, having fun, playing with a smile on their face and just building that confidence is incredible. So those are really two good, two talented, you know, players on our teams. And, and Go ahead and uh, go with Scott Ritchie, Derek Piper. I guess this first one would be for, for both of you guys, uh, maybe starting with Trent. But, you know, the last two games played pretty good lockdown defense against both teams. What do you feel like maybe the team has done well on the defensive end to, to hold in North Carolina A&T and now Chicago State to uh, a pretty low scoring point totals? Like I said, I've been, we've been talking about it, building our identity. Uh, I think the biggest thing right now is, you know, just a lot of communication on the floor, you know, um, almost trying to limit our, our, all our mistakes. Um, you know, our bigs are doing a great job, you know, with communicating with the guards, you know, with ball screens and um, just flying around and, you know, finishing the possessions with rebounds. So I think the biggest thing right now for us, you know, just continue to fly around, just uh, outstanding at playing with outstanding effort and just, um, you know, trying to limit our mistakes on defense, you know, that will help us, you know, get in our transition on offense. Like I said, finishing with, with rebounding and, you know, just getting out. So uh, we just got to continue to go, do a good job at that and, you know, just stay focused. Yeah, man, like Trent said, man, it's all about just communicating on the court, you know, being there for one another, doing our principles, doing what we do every day, being everyday guys. And just, like Coach emphasized a lot, just picking up where we left off last year. You know, last year ended really, like, suddenly, and we didn't expect it. And we were, that's when we were at our peak playing defense and offense and, it's just about picking, where, picking up where we left off, you know, that aggressiveness, that dog mentality, just coming out there every day, facing every opponent with the same mindset, and just coming out to kill. Yeah, one more for Trent. Uh, Trent, I'm not, I don't know if you're aware, but, like, The Athletic did a anonymous poll of Big Ten players. Uh, you and Devontae were 
you know, pick, you know, tied for second as the toughest player to score on. So, you know, toughest defenders in the league. What do you kind of think about you know, the players in your conference understanding that you know, you're going to lock them down? And the biggest thing is for me, you know, is just trying to get these other guys to have that same mindset, you know. Uh, and I believe we already have – we already, you know, establishing – other guys are already establishing that, you know. Um, you know, being able to compete at that high level, uh, you know, when Big Ten play starts, you know, even every game actually. So, um, you know, that's very important to me, you know, defense obviously. But um, I can't – I can't guard everybody. So, you know, just being able to have, you know, the Kofi, you know, the, the Ios, Monte, like you said, Adams, even the younger guy, everybody, you know, on the same page and that mindset of, you know, not not letting their guys score on them. Um, that, that's going to, you know, establish our identity, you know, really, really quick. And it's going to help us, you know, win a lot of a lot of basketball games. Okay, we'll go Derek Piper and then Harry Fiegel on, on deck. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Turn, I know you've worked really closely with Curbelo throughout the offseason leading up to this season. How are you seeing him with the process? Obviously, he's made some mistakes out there, but uh, just what he can be and, and good to find a group for him today. Oh, uh, like I said, these first, you know, these first three games, you know, um, this is all about, you know, confidence, you know, helping those guys build their confidence, you know. You know, Bello is a, a very, very competitive player. You know, he competes in, every day in practice with us, you know, and he loves guarding. He loves challenging himself against me, Io, Adam, you know, just getting after it on defense, you know, and that's what that's what's going to make him very special. So um, best thing I like about him is his IQ, and, you know, his and his ability to, you know, just learn from the veterans, me and Io, and, you know, his competitiveness. So he's going to be a really, really great player for, for this team, and, you know, he's a very good point guard. So I'm really, I'm really excited for him. One more for Trent. You found that groove offensively with your stroke today. Is there any feeling that you get when you have it going? Is there anything mechanically that's working for you or any anything that's different when you know that it's, that it's your day and that, that you're hot from three? Um, I'm feeling it every night, to be, uh, to be honest. You know, um, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't let uh, missed basketballs, you know, affect me. You know, I'm always, you know, I was going to play with a smile on my face, you know. I know I can score the basketball, so me me going 0 for 7 the other night didn't really bother me. You know, I do it on the defensive end. You know, get stops, get steals, you know, bring that energy for other guys, you know, get get other guys going. Um, you know, I had five rebounds, uh, five assists, you know, those those type of things, you know, those make me happy. So I know what I can do offensively. Miss basketball just doesn't bother me. I know what I can do. So um, just being able you know, to be a team player, a leader, you know, just a veteran out there, just continue to be vocal is what's is going to be make me happy every night. So, thanks, Trent. Derek asked my question, so I'm good. You're good, Harry. All right. Any other questions for the players? Uh, Joey Wagner, go ahead. Hey, Kofi, you out rebounded Chicago State by yourself. I mean, did, did you know that? Or I guess what's what's the mindset for you going into these games and being able to, you know, kind of pile up those kind of numbers? Yeah, I had no idea about that. Thanks for pointing it out. Uh, my mindset going in the, in, into the game is the same as it always been. You know, um, I'm a really big guy. I'm seven feet. Coach expects me to rebound the basketball. So when I go out there and I do it, I'm just doing what I need to do and what I'm capable of doing. It's just about doing that on a high level, you know, doing that each and every game and just dominate every game, every game on, the, on the glass, whether it's offensive or, or defensive. So it's just like a mindset we got every day, each and every one of us. It's not just me, you know, Trent Frazier too, on the offensive glass, whenever he, he, he's not going back on defense, all the other players, the fours, the threes, the twos, we all attack the glass. And that's really important for us. That's why we our rebound teams a lot. So it's, it's, it's just a mindset about this. Trying to grab every rebound, limit people, limit, limit, limiting, limiting other teams to one shot and offensive rebound at all times. And then I had one more. I saw, I think after a layup, you went up strong and you looked over at Fletch on the bench. It seems like you guys kind of make a lot of eye contact or have some nonverbal conversation. I guess what's kind of the deal? How's he pushing you? What's, what's that all about? That's, that's my guy, man. Um, he's been doing a really good job with me, just getting me in shape, getting my body right. And it's just about, it's, it's just him like, Making sure that every day, every game, every position I'm in, I'm running the floor really hard, and like like extra possessions like that where I'm I'm tired and I gotta go get extra effort. Like those are the players that you always keep telling me, oh, that's what that's what we gotta get. I already established that I can score the ball, and I can run the floor and rebound. But like the extra efforts where I gotta come in when I'm tired and just and just dig in and, get, and and dig deeper, you know. So it's just about conditioning him, telling me to run the floor all the time, 
And I, so when I run the floor that hard and, he's, and I'm hearing him, run the floor, run the floor. And then I get an offensive rebound. I look at him like, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for reminding me. So like sometimes I get, I get lazy because I get tired and he just reminds me every, every time, run the floor, run the floor. Don't stop running. Thanks, Coach. All right, Nico, you're up. And then we've got time for uh, Harry. So go ahead, Nico. Hey, I got a quick follow-up for Trent. Um, seeing what Adam and Andre have been able to do these last two games, I guess for you as, as one, you know, a team leader, a senior, how difficult is it to maybe get them to realize how harder things are going to get once you guys get the Big Ten season, but how kind of rewarding it is to see them having performances like that in the non-conference schedule? Um, they, they, they already have, a, you know, pretty good feeling about it. You know, um, they already go, they go against, you know, the best guard in our league and, and probably possibly the country, you know, Iowa, um, every day. So, you know, uh, just going against, you know, me and Iowa every day, I mean, it, it puts a lot of pressure on them. It, cha it challenges them every day and, you know, they love to compete. So I think the biggest thing, like I said, um, is them, you know, just building their confidence right now, finding their groove. And, you know, just finding the, what their, their place at on the floor each and every possession. So, um, like I said, they already know how hard it is going to be Big Ten, you know. Um, you know, so them having that mindset of, of competing every day and, you know, trying to limit their mistakes is going to be, you know, vital for them. Uh, but these these young guys, they ask a lot of questions. You know, they're, they're willing to learn. They, they work really, really hard. So, you know, um, those guys are going to be, you know, really, really good for us, you know, when conference play starts. So, Thanks, Trent. Okay, and then uh, we'll finish up with Harry. Go ahead, Harry. Trent, uh, a big part of your guys' identity is a uh, sort of defensive discipline. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how or what you see from Bello and Adam and, and the other guys coming in and, and just how, how they've improved or matured in terms of discipline coming from high school to college and playing for Brad? Um, I think the biggest uh, – one of the things is, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's very important, you know, limiting mistakes, you know, gambling, you know, try positioning, being in the right spots at all time, you know, high school, you know, you can back tap, you know, go for lunch, gamble for steals all the time. But, you know, at this level, it doesn't matter what team you're playing, you know, they're, they're going to make you pay for open shots. So, um, you know, they've learned that a lot, you know, um, you know, I've, I've been teaching, you know, Bello multiple skills, how to guard, how to defend the basketball one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you know, just being a smaller guy. Um, and, but just using our quickness, you know, and just being smart, you know, with, with, taking the ball, you know, playing with our hands. But um, like I said, their, their ability to, to learn and adapt quick on the floor is very important. And, and that's what I love about those two young guys, that they ask a lot of questions and they're always willing to learn. Thank you, guys. All right. Anything else for uh, the players? Doesn't look like it. We're getting lined up for a, for a coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.